Hello folks, it's Paul from paul-irvin.com here and as you can see on the screen this is uh, the uh, PayPal receipt for the purchase I made last night for the Kinstant Formatter. So what is Kinstant Formatter? Well, it's actually, uh, well, it's a website um, with a, a, a logon that allows you to um, upload your Word documents and change them instantly into uh, the Kindle format so you can upload them to the KDP and make some money from selling them as books on the Kindle platform. So I haven't actually looked at this software yet so <clears throat> Uh, what's basically what you're going to see on the screen is uh, me effectively going through <laughs> going through the motions as um, you will do yourself. So yeah, let's get logged on to the system just now. And see if this really is as easy as uh, it's supposed to be. So I've entered my email address and password and I'm going to click on log on. Okay, so a very simple screen we're presented with here. Um, still welcome. Upload a Word file. At the top right we've got three buttons, Home, About and Support. Now let's just have a quick look to see what's in here before we go any further. So the About just tells us that Kinston Formatter was developed by Stephen Henty in collaboration with Rachel Rofe and uh, Dennis Becker. Uh, the latter two, I'm very well aware of them. Uh, they are two internet marketers and product creators that I've got a very high level of respect for. Um, let's see, it's on the third tab, support. Okay, so it's going over what it is, technical requirements, basically an FAQ page. So that's fine, we can take a look at that later on. Let's go back to home and let's upload um, let's upload one of my Word documents to turn it into Kindle format. Now the book that I've chosen to use, uh, the book, <laughs> the document I've chosen to use is actually um, one of my, my own products called Bulletproof Backup Method. Um, this is on sale in JV Zoo just now, um, but I I like taking an existing product and reusing it to increase my exposure and obviously increase uh, the, uh, the amount of income that I get from the products that I create. And what better way of doing that than to upload it onto uh, Kindle. So anyway, here we have a typical Word document that's been done in Word 2010. Um, we've got a table of contents here and then it goes into the main document itself. So nothing out of the ordinary, got a few graphics in there as well. So that's has got the, the document there. So let's change back to Kinstant Formatter and upload the file. So I'll select the file. Uh, bulletproof Backup um, is in Final and there it is there. So I'll select the file and choose Open. Now it's two and a half meg. Uh, due to the fact it's a Word document and it's got some images um, but luckily I'm on a fast connection so this shouldn't take too long to upload. And we're actually nearly there already. So we'll just wait for that to finish and see what happens after that. Okay, so please wait analyzing document. Okay, so we've got a nice green tick mark to say the first stage is complete, that's great. Underneath what we're doing next, optional add a cover. So it's a JPEG file it's looking for. If you don't upload a cover, a temporary placeholder cover will be generated for you. That's fine. Well, it just so happens I do have a cover for it. And it's in images. Um, or is it? <laughs> uh, let me think. Um, I'm sure it's in images. Book images? Nope. Uh, site images? Ah, there we go. Main report. Let me just right click and double check that's the right one. Yes, that's the image I want there. So I'll select that and then click on open. That will then upload that file. So saying warning covers are required to be at least 500 by 800 
uh, which that file is, so that's fine. Now you can generate your Kindle ebook. Okay, so title is Bulletproof Backup, as it's there already. The author will be myself, obviously, and funnily enough, the publisher will be exactly the same. So at the bottom we seem to have some advanced options. Um, add or replace the table of contents. Um, I'll leave that ticked because I believe the way the table of contents works inside the uh, dot mobi or the Kindle book format is different from Word. So we'll leave that ticked. Remove tabs. Well, I don't have any tabs, so that's fine. Remove line breaks. I don't have any of them. Remove blank lines. I may have some of them, so I'll leave that ticked and try to improve bullet points. Um, now I know for a fact that bullet points can be an absolute nightmare when it comes to creating a Kindle book. Um, it can scatter the bullet points all over the page, it can completely destroy the formatting of the document. So I'll leave that ticked as well. And we'll click on Generate. So I like the way that it hides the options until you actually need them. That's, that's very useful and should reduce confusion. Right, well it appears that the file is ready already, which was very fast. So let's click on the download button. Now it should be a .mobi file, and indeed it is, so bpbm.mobi. So I want to save that and click OK. And I've already created a folder called New Kindle where I'm going to save the file. So we'll save it to there. And that seems to be it downloaded. So let's open up the actual file itself. Now, in order to view um, Kindle formatted books on your PC or Mac, um, there's some software uh, called Kindle Previewer that you can download from the Amazon website. And in fact, it's actually included in next steps at the bottom right of the screen. Um, so view your .mobi in the Kindle Previewer. Uh, Kindle Previewer, um, as you can see here, is uh, again, it's software that emulates what would be seen on the Kindle screens. So the full text layout, any images, um, so that'll be a, a good pointer to see if uh, the book's been converted well. So we'll click back here just now, and I'm going to open up my uh, Kindle Previewer just now. And here it is. And I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to open book and choose BPBM. Click on open. So it says it's page one. Um, well, not page one, there's the, the image of the product. And title page, that's fine. Disclaimer. Now one thing to bear in mind is, um, even though we think of uh, Kindle books as being books with separate pages, uh, the Kindle system is, you can think of it as in, in uh, a very simplified web browser. It doesn't necessarily recognise the concept of pages, um, even though that is obviously the, the visual trick it uses um, for us to read Kindle books. But anyway, so... There's a contents page here, and these are all hyperlinked. Now let's just try one of these. What is control panel backup? Ha! Bang! It takes you straight to the page with that content on it. Fantastic. Let's just go back. Do do. So table of contents. The first page. There's the image centered as well. Now the thing I want to check is the bullet points because, as I say, they can be a nightmare. And look at that. Perfectly aligned. And again, this is exactly how it will be seen uh, on someone's Kindle. So I'm more than happy with how that's came out. In fact, that looks fantastic. So, there you go. Now, Kinstant Formatter as you've just seen. It's very simple to use. The interface is uh, very intuitive, in other words, um, it's very simple to follow and it seems to minimise any confusion to what can sometimes be 
uh, a very complex process creating a, a Kindle book. Um, if you've tried it before, you will certainly know that you need to create your document and then you need to convert it to either PRC or you need to create it to .mobi format. But that's after you've converted your Word document into a filtered web page. Pfft, forget all that. Kinstant Formatter right now is selling for $27 and that's for unlimited conversions. That's for the unlimited creation of Kindle books. Now that's cheap. To outsource one book conversion would probably cost you more than that $27. Now the thing is, the $27 is only for now and I'm recording this video on 22nd of March 2012. The creator of Kinstant Formatter um, has already said that the $27 is going to increase from that price. And not only that, it's going to become an annual subscription system. So first year you pay whatever the amount happens to be. Let's say for argument's sake it'll be $47. And that's every year that you want to use it. But if you buy it right now through my link below, you're going to get the software for $27 as a one-off payment. That's full access to the system. Now, as you've seen there, I don't think you can uh, grumble at that too much. It's going to save a lot of time. It's actually going to encourage me to take some of my existing products and convert them into Kindle format as well because, uh, let's face it, the readership um, user base or customer base on Kindle is growing by the day. Uh, the number of Kindle ebooks being sold has outranked physical hard copy books as well, so... This is definitely a market that you need to get into. So again, if you want to order this and check it out, it's $27 just now and you can order it on the link below this video. Remember that as ever, uh, when you buy anything that I recommend, it comes with at least a 30 day money back guarantee. And just to show you the bottom of the sales letter, and this is the one that I went through myself. Uh, there you go. 30 day love it or get your money back guarantee. So you've got 30 days to check it out. If you don't like it or it doesn't give you the results you expect, then by all means refund it. So I'm going to let you decide what you want to do, but I think it's a bit of a no-brainer if you ask me. Um, as I say, I've bought my own copy. I hope you uh, invest in your own copy as well and start putting uh, quality books up on Kindle. So thanks very much for watching. This is Paul from paul-irvin.com. Talk to you soon.